Oh, wow. We're finally building our last bed. Last one. This garden's gonna be full. So we still have to remove the cinder block root veggie bed. In that corner, the black tubs are gonna be there in place of the cinder block bed. One and then another one will go in that corner. And we are pairing with our sweet potatoes, pole beans, dill, oregano, carrots, radishes, and rosemary. Those are all great to plant together with the sweet potatoes. My goal this year is to companion plant best I can to reduce the amount of pests we deal with. I also learned that tansy is great for just about everything, so I'm going to just plant it everywhere. Tansy repels cucumber beetles, squash bugs, Japanese beetles. Those are our three main pests here. The orange netting over there, are we taking that down? Yeah, I'm taking all those. I'm repurposing the... Um, T-posts? The T-posts and all that, yeah. Is... Is that gonna be full of garden beds or is it gonna be empty? Cause we do need a melon patch. I'm trying to figure out where to put the melons. Well, I have that set up over there that I was gonna take apart, but we can keep that there and then put a border around it so we can fill it with dirt. I'll till it up and get all the weeds and stuff out. And yeah, that'll be good. We could do the melon patch there. And then later in the year, I've got the uh, Pie pumpkins, got those seeds. We don't plant those till later though. Looking good. Oh, I, think I wasn't talking about the garden beds. <laughs> <laughs> Garlic is still doing great, but boy oh boy did these weeds take over. Last year they didn't come up at all. This is crazy. Lots of weeds this year, lots of grass growing through. These beds were empty last year, except for the for the garlic that we had in here. And then our friends gave us lots of stuff to plant. We got cabbage. These are all tomatoes. More tomatoes in these. Beef tomato. These three are all beef tomato. And then in here we've got strawberries to plant. They had too many. So we're gonna keep up this long trellis here. And I'm gonna plant my cucumbers there this year. We tried last year, but we were not very successful thanks to the moles and the gophers. They tore up everything last year. So the final step for these beds is gonna be chicken wire along the bottom. And then where's the black stuff you bought? It's in the suburban. Was it just garden it's, mesh? Uh, it's the mesh that sits on the top layer of the soil. Yeah. And then you cut the holes so the plant can grow up through it. And when the seeds and the pollen and all that- jump, But we're not using it like that. No, we. I, that's why I bought two rolls because we're gonna use it on the bottom and then and also use it on the top, gotcha. To hopefully discourage the weeds and the moles and the gophers because I'm not playing this year. Most meal of the day. Iced coffee. Iced coffee. <laughs> Too bad uh, Aaron from Bramble Hill Homestead was, wasn't so far away. She'd be right here with us, yeah. <laughs> drinking coffee and gardening. Come on down. I can sneak you through the border.